Hey everyone, we're here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're shooting another Bombs in the Night video. We got a little twist today. Typically we hit on the baseball field, but we've been getting feedback from around the country that you can't see the dramatic effect on the baseball field because it's quite far. So today, we're on a 300 foot fence. So you're gonna see some real bombs in the night. Only problem is we're gonna lose some balls because there's a creek behind here, but that's okay. We're gonna hit some bombs in the night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Take these knuckles. I always do my first swing. Let's see what happens on the first swing here in Pittsburgh. Oh! I think I'm ready to roll. Let's go. Hey everyone, I'm here with Dr. Mike. How's it going, Dr. Mike? Great, Mark. All right. So what a lot of you don't know is we're the dynamic duo behind Bomani Sports. I'm Ebony, and he's Ivory. One thing we always do, we've been testing bats for 20 years. But another thing we found out along the way is it takes proper practice to hit bombs. So, Mike, what do you think are the keys to hitting bombs? Well, like your old coach said, Mark, it's not how far, it's how high. You ain't lying about that. Let's hit some bombs. All right, man. Let's go. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. That's going straight for the creek. That ball's going swimming. See ya. Good shot. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. Good shot. Good shot. Record. Good shot. Ooh. Good shot. <laughs> oh, I heard the splash. Good job. That's a good walk off. We call that a sublime. Good shot. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. Straight away pivot. Straight away pivot. It's in the creek. In the That's creek. A Dr. Mike Bob in the creek. Hold on. We ain't getting that back. Good shot. Good shot. That's high, like you said. That's high. That's high. That's high. Okay. And deep. Good shot. Ooh, good shot. That's a laser beam out of here. Ooh, Herb, you got that? That's a out right there. A frozen rope, or we call it 2.2 sec. There you go with that backside boogie. Another, one Another one lost ball. Another one with three. That's all right. All right. So Mike, we got choke or stroke. See what you got. You know, hey, you know I got stroke for you, my man. All right, we're gonna see what you got. Choke or stroke. Good Lord. See ya. See ya. See ya. All right. Hello everyone, I'm here with my man Aaron of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. How's it going Aaron? Good. All right, so what a lot of you don't know is Aaron is wearing our championship hoodie from last year's senior uh, sponsorship tournament. Believe it or not, he hit a walk of bomb to make us win. I appreciate you for that. So Aaron, one thing that we always battle with because you you bat in front of me most of the time, and we always have this save a home run or do this or whatever, but when it's when when the going gets tough and there's two outs bottom of the seven, what do you think the key is to hitting bombs? Know your pitch and drive it. <laughs> you were waiting to say that word. To yes, you. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good shot. No. All right, next.
All right, I'm here with my man Dave of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. How's it going, Dave? Good, how are you? All right, so what a lot of you don't know is Dave finished his video in one take. This is a rarity. I don't think it's ever happened before. That was a good job. Thank so, you. Thank so, Dave, we're here shooting bombs in the night. You hit quite a few bombs. So what do you think are the keys to hitting bombs? I think picking the, the right pitch for me is the number one thing. If I get a short pitch, I'm not going to hit it. I have to get a pitch that's up in my zone. Okay. Well, you hit a lot of bombs. I appreciate you, Thanks, my man. man. Ready to go. All right. <laughs> oh, you want to take that back? You want to do that over? Sure. Okay. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's lost in the creek. That's called a Shabizzle right there. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go down and get it. Good shot. Yep. Right. All right, so we got a game called choke or stroke. At the end of your round, you get one swing. It doesn't matter where it is, you got to swing at it. Choke or stroke? I got stroke. Hey, I'm here with my man Ted from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. How's it going, Ted? Fantastic, man. How are All you? right. So, Ted, you know we're shooting bombs in the night, and I heard a rumor that you got excellent bat speed. What do you think are the keys to hitting bombs? Well, you know, I'm mainly a line drive hitter, mm -hmm. but for me, it's just being totally relaxed, mm -hmm. get a nice weight transfer, mm -hmm. and when I do get it, that's what I do. Okay, that works. You ready to hit some bombs? Absolutely, man. Let's, let's go. All right. All right. Oh, good oh, shot. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Way to come back. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice shot. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there. Alright, so I get a lot of questions about how do you hit bombs or how do you get height or distance on the ball. And I always say, if you have $11, just buy our DVD because it will be explained in that video. But in a nutshell, I always tell people, we use what we call the reverse rotation grip. And that is, when you grip the bat, you want to put in the palm of your hands and you want to line up the front knuckles. A lot of people always ask me, what do you mean by that? Well, I say this. Let your elbows touch and the front knuckles are going to be lined up so when you spin, the bat head rotates at impact. That's what we want. So the re reverse rotation grip, at least we coined it that way, I think that's the key to get maximum height on the ball. Let's see it in practice. All right. Good. Good. Let's try it. All right. So go, you in. Hey, I'm using the professional bat made for my buddy Sean Clemens in Detroit. We're going to see if Detroit translates to Pittsburgh bomb. Let's check it out. Oh! Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that one. That was a good shot right there.
Another lost ball. <laughs> Oops. Thanks, son. All right, joker stroke with the professional. Mm -hmm. I call that a stroke. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody has a go-to bat. This year, this happens to be my go-to bat. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to keep it rolling. Uh, we'll go from there. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. I hit the pavement over there. Lost. Man, that was an atomic bomb right there. Good Lord, I like that one. That's called Pisati. When we say Pisati, that means put some acid to it. That's what that was. If I do say so myself. Oh! Yeah. Hey, is it that time? It's time. Uh -oh. They're called Joker Stroke. Let's see what happens on this one. Oh! That's a stroke right there. Hey, everybody. My man Ted got this backward spin on the ball. I was told it's called a church league spinner. Let's see if we get some bombs in the night off a church league spinner. Now that's called a shablizzle right there. <laughs> that's 2.2 seconds. Zip, go to church or whatever they call it. Hey, I think I gotta work real hard to get that ball out of here. I gotta spin it out of here some other way. There you go. I, I... That ball high. That ball is high. Okay, I gotta reverse the spin, I guess you call it. That's what it is. You gotta catch it up in the air. That's what it is. I think I found the antidote to that. Oh, that's what it is. You gotta catch it in the air. I found it. <laughs> Earth, we're going to church on this one. I need to get an amen on this. Amen. Amen. And it hooked back. Amen on that one. Amen. Thanks a lot, Ted. Hey, everybody. We had a lot of fun here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, hitting bombs in the night. We got Dr. Mike. We got Ted. We got Dave. And we got Aaron. But we always say when we're done, one, two, three, take, take these levels.